Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by... Southern Indiana Pediatrics, part of IU Health Southern Indiana Physicians. For decades, parents in our community have trusted their children's care to Southern Indiana Pediatrics. Learn more at siphysicians.org. The Margaret A. Cargill Foundation and by WTIU members. Thank you. Hey, Maddie. Today's show is all about building stuff. Come up, me build the show. No. Welcome to the Friday Zone, everybody. I'm Nettie. And I'm Taylor, and we are putting together a fun show this week, Matt. Yep, the Friday Zone's all about crazy Ooh, construction. So let's get things started with a visit to Crazy Town with a tune from Word Worms on the Friday Zone playlist. No, I'm down. Okay, you're fine. Where the people all walk in the middle of the street And the cars don't honk cause the little fish are sweet At the crazy town department store it's all half off Chairs, TVs, and suits not recommended for astronauts As a black tie ostrich I love solving problems Like when I tied this guy and stopped all the wobbles My mind's been trained to drive this train He roll track, don't have to find a lane The stork drops goos on his fancy slot Popped out as they should meet mom and Pop, whether you like it or not, I'm your new tot. Come in, let me show you these toys I just got. At the mail slot sits octopus. Rexy. It's or to tell, no need to get messy. And three bad again, he's got away with the saw. A law abiding guy breaks physical laws. And the zoo's insane, and monkeys feed you. Pigs feed through, but watch the tree, dude. The ambulance had a chance, but didn't need you. That savage has an avalanche. What did he do? This crazy town. This crazy town. This place that engraved me, shaved me down to a toothpick. Move quick into the box. In golf, you hit holes cold under the ball. And watching boxes like a free-for-all The horse's force makes no jockey fall Is this made a no, no at all? Well, meanwhile, Peabody sees shoddy wiring Must have missed the electricity and water thing Offering a river's giving firemen a chance To aim those flame throws and do a fuel dance They burn that turn that home to ash Make the frame and blaze it crash It's safe to laugh, cause Peabody Eddie just made a pad that's halfway ready. I just have to add these central windows. What more? A door sure helps to go in those. Watch what happens when I nail this in though. Oh no! This town is mad. It sounds so sad. But actually, it's not half bad. This town is mad. It sounds so sad. But actually, it's not half bad. This town is mad. It's so bad. It's bad. It's actually, it's just so, so bad. It's not. So where's the boral? Where's the boral? Here's the boral. Enjoy everything you can, because you can if you choose. Break physical laws. Just don't break the rules. Ainsley are here to share an action-packed catapult you can build right at home. You'll need a small shoebox, a couple pencils, some rubber bands, and a plastic spoon. And of course, some ammunition. In this case, marshmallows. First, connect the pencils with rubber bands to form a T-shape. On the long end, attach the spoon. Connect a couple rubber bands to the short end of the pencil. Then, poke the pencil T through the box near the opening up towards the front of your catapult. Attach the rubber band to the back of the box. Voila! A simple shoebox catapult. Pull back the arm, load your projectile, and fire away! 
Experiment with different box sizes and pencil positions to see what works best. A tasty project that takes the idea of a food fight to a whole new level. Thanks, guys. Hello, everybody. My name is Sam Bartlett, and I have a stunt for you today from the world of stuntology. It's a silly challenge that you can do. So you need some water, a couple of cups, and a piece of plastic tubing. This cost you a few cents over at the hardware store. And you need a volunteer. Mark, where are you? Thanks, how you doing? Good. All right. Hey, you want to help me do this challenge? This is crazy. You're not going to believe this. All right, Mark, I am going to put some water in this cup. And I'm going to place it on my forehead. Why would I do that? All right, well, I am anyway. And now, Mark, I'm going to get all of the water out of this cup without ever touching the cup with my hands or my mouth. How is that possible? Well, I'm going to use this piece of tubing, this piece of tubing, and I'm going to make a siphon. And I'm going to have you catch the water as it comes out. I love this stunt. Are you ready? Ta-da! Hey! In the Friday Zone Friday. And we're joined by Stacy from the Wonder Lab. Thanks for coming today. No problem. Always what happy to be here. Yeah. Uh, well, today we are going to make some toys that we've done at Wonder Lab before. They're cool. contraption-y flying toys. Flying and toys! Yeah. Yes. Yay! Awesome things that you can make at home when cool. you're bored, right? Yeah. All right, so uh, all of these things will fly in some form. Okay. The first okay. thing that we're going to do, you guys are going to get to do this as well, <laughs> is a rubber band <laughs> rocket. So our rubber band is the fuel, basically. Oh, okay. Um, cool. It creates energy. So when we pull it down, it has potential energy. Uh -huh. When we let go of it, Whoa! Oh, that was awesome! That's so crazy. What, what's yeah. potential energy? Potential energy is stored energy. Ah, so if there, okay. anybody ever told you you had a lot of potential, uh -huh. that means that you have a, a lot like waiting. It's building up. Yeah, it's, it's building up. <laughs> and Whoa. then when it launches, it's called kinetic energy. Cool. So we're going to build those. Moving energy. Moving uh, energy. Moving energy. When I dance, I got a lot of kinetic energy. You can't dance it. What? <laughs> Okay, let's make okay, these things. Okay, go ahead and get your supplies out. Okay. okay. And you need a stick. Stick. Right? Yeah, this is just a doorknob. Look. That is a knob off of a dresser. Oh. You can get those at a craft store. So cool. Um, but you don't even really have to have that. It's just kind of a cool add-on. I like it. All right, we've got a dowel rod, a thin dowel rod. Okay. That will fit into this hole. We have a straw that I've already gone ahead and taped a oh, rubber band. And here's the, this is you guys making this at the Wonder Lab, This right? is us making oh, them at Wonder Lab, okay. yeah. So you can see kids can do this pretty easily. So our rubber band is taped here over the top of the straw. Okay, we already have okay. that done. We already have that awesome. done. We need to put our fins on because rockets fins. need to have fins. fins. Why do they need yes. fins? It helps them to cut to through fly. the air okay. and yeah, catches some of the air and gives them some direction. Cool. So we're going to tape these on. Now you can either use regular tape or you can use these handy How little glue dots. Glue dots? What are glue dots? Glue dots. Yeah. Oh, wow. glue dots are these things. You can get them at craft stores. You just peel the sticky stuff wow. off. Oh, cool. So, yeah, we'll give some, one of these. I think I'm just going to stick with Gee, regular you tape. Try. I trust you go. it. I'm Maybe stick it onto the straw and then stick your. Find the sticky dot. How far down do you need to go? Is that. Right it doesn't need to go yet. Yeah, not all the way to the bottom. Let, give it a little bit of room. Okay. I just dropped mine. Uh oh. It's okay. We have more. More glue dots. More glue dots. Is it okay if your fins are a little crooked? It, it is okay, oh, yes, okay. yeah. Your fins would be crooked. Why you? would you say that? <laughs> okay, right. so uh, we have the fins on. Next, do we make our... 
All right, so base. the next thing that you're going to do, yes, is you make your base. So Okay, so okay. you just stick the, yep, stick that the in dowel there. rod into the knob. Yeah. You have to work it a little bit work because it. it's, yeah. Okay. Where did you work put that? It should be in there nice and tight because, of course, you don't want to launch put your base. Put that in here? Which, yep. one, which, which okay. direction? That oh, you I put the knob I put it on there. Wrong. Oh. oh, no, that's right. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter which side you put it on. Okay, got that on. What's next? All right, so, so next, I think you're ready to launch. You're just ready to All launch All right, now. yes, just slide that down over your launcher. Uh -huh. All right, you're gonna put it, and then you can use your, your base. Boom, <laughs> that was awesome. How'd you do that? I just so where'd you put the rubber band? There you go, the rubber right band there. goes over the top of the dowel. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's cool. the potential. Yes, and so that's where it stretches it from. What's and then you just need to make sure that you keep your fingers out of the way when you launch this. This is when Maddie eats sugar, building it up. <laughs> Oh, that's what happens. What other, crash. Uh, Stace, what other flying part. devices have you brought? All that right, we can make? so our other oh. flying devices, we have an airplane. Let's right? do it. Ah! Oh, good job, Maddie. Nice one. Airplane. That was pretty good. We have an airplane. Right. These are, yeah. Okay, okay. so we've got an airplane. Okay, there's okay. yours. There's airplane yours. supplies. Go ahead and get your supplies out. Okay. So this is made out of a styrofoam plate. Cool. Uh -huh. Okay. Two different size straws. So we have one straw that's smaller. Okay. One straw that's a little bit larger because it will fit inside. I got gotcha. you. Oh, okay. I see. And this one, instead of using potential and kinetic energy, we're going to use air pressure. Okay. All air right. Pressure. We've got the end of our straw blocked off, and when we blow on it, now mine's a little beat up, so it doesn't fly very straight. Uh huh. Oh, Whoa. that was pretty good. All right. Um, so yeah. these get stuck on. You can see, yep, just get stuck on like that. I kind of need okay. some dots. Right, and no. while you guys are finishing those up, I'm going to move over here to our next All right. okay, there, project. To, there's some kids that's wondering about making theirs right now. Okay. So as you're finishing that up, very nice. I'm going to go ahead and do a little prep work for our next one, which is a helicopter. Okay. I have uh, soaked these in hot water. Why is that? These, and what, what we have to do is create a propeller, because right now it wouldn't fly very well because it's straight. Okay. So we're just going to give it a little twist. Now this part takes some time to do at home, so you would have to have a parent to help you with the hot water. You're going to have to wait till this dries. And you don't want to twist it too much, just enough that it gives it a little bit of a, little of a bit propeller of a shape. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna. You're gonna oh, you already made your. We have point? those pre-made. <laughs> oh, you need to block your the end. You gotta block the end. How do you yeah. block With your little foam square. So we have a little square oh, foam. Oh yes. I don't know how to use glue dots. Roll. The <laughs> <laughs> they okay. are pretty cutting edge You're technology. Not I know. I'm just to not use glue hit. Dots. I'm not with it. You know? With it. Maddie's got it. I've you already got finished it. your airplane, huh? Almost. It's not a race or anything, but. I mean, all right. Okay, now check out the second Okay, these so, and yeah, and so while you're finishing that up, um, roll it up like a. Oh, uh, uh, Maddie wasn't Like a, attention. what is that? A ho ho. Ding dong. Oh, oh yeah. the one that rolls, you know? Uh -huh. Oh. A jelly roll. Yeah. <laughs> jelly roll. All right. Okay, Stace. Let's see this. That helicopter. goes in the yeah, end. That looks so All right. Cool. So this is a really simple one. Uh, the only trick is that when you make yours at home, you're going to have to figure out which way to spin it in order right. for it to fly. Uh -huh. All right. And uh, don't fly it near anything breakable. Whoa! Wow. There we go. That so so cool. that, that angled really shape. Cool. Yep. That angled shape gives it uh, some lift. Does it matter it which rides way you on go? The air. Oh, obviously you can't. Go it that does way. matter. Yeah. So Why you're going to have that? to experiment with it. It depends on which way your propeller so is angled, go. and it rides on wrong the way air. Again. Cool. Cool. There's right, a yeah. kid about to. Oh, so wrong way. So he's launching. Yeah. And there, that's a launcher that we actually it's built. Like a launching pad. Oh. Yeah. So you can. It was in a tube, and, and you the, can pull the string, yeah, and it'll shoot it up. Oh, there we go. Exactly. Yeah. But you can do it. You can just do it with your hands. Woo. Like that. Go ahead, give it a try. Oh, nice. Look at that. <laughs> We've got some more talk with Stacy about some cool contraptions you can participate in over at Wonder Lab in a bit. But for now, you guys check out some Ooh. mini construction projects we found on the Spray Zone Field Trip. <laughs> and welcome to the Museum of Miniature Houses. I'm here to look at the amazing art that is miniature figurines and homes. Let's go check it out. I am here today with Katie. Katie, what do you do here at the museum? Well, I'm a volunteer and I actually, uh, I go to school down at Carmel High School just down the street. 
You call it an art form. How, how are these pieces made? Well, all these pieces can be made in many different ways. Everything from woodworking, where you make carve something like a bed or a chair, from plaster, building bricks and mortar and everything, to sewing and creating carpets with cross stitch and embroidery. Anything you could possibly think of that could go into a house is made in miniature. So how can kids, once they come here, how can they learn to appreciate all this? What can they do? One of our biggest hits is our scavenger hunt. Oh, a scavenger hunt? That sounds like so much fun. I want to try it. I am here with Emily and McKinsey, and we're going to start doing the treasure hunt. Are you guys excited? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go. Come on. Okay, guys. What is the lady mouse in the cottage on the left doing? All right, which case? Oh, there. Good one. She's reading. She's, she's doing what? She's reading. Oh, wow. All right, now we're in room two, and we have to find how many kittens does the mother cat have in the room box called Baking Pies. So where's the box called Baking Pies? Oh, right there. Oh, right there. Oh, let's, let's count the cats. Let's see. How many are there? Three. Three. Cool. And how many kittens does she have? Two. Good find, guys. Okay, what's next? Uh, what color are the eggs in the nest in the room box that is a gift from Miss Sue Lurchin? Where's that box? Hey, there. Oh, nice. What color are the eggs? Blue. Great. Oh, can you count how many there are? Three. That's awesome. Hey, next up is in room three. Should we go look there too? Come on, guys. Okay, what kind of candy is on the table in the living room of the San Francisco Queen Anne house? Can you guys find the candy? Oh wow, look at it right there. What kind is it? Peppermints. Okay guys, well I had so much fun going through the museum with you guys. Hey Emily, what was your favorite part? I like the Legos right there because I have the same ones. Oh wow, how cool is that that they're here at the museum? Mackenzie, what was your favorite thing that you found today? The white cat. Oh yeah, that was so cool. Well, thank you guys so much for doing the treasure hunt with me. What do you say we go look through more of the museum? Yeah. Let's go. Katie, it's been so amazing looking around at all these things. If, if I wanted to get involved with this amazing art, how could I do it? Well, it's very simple. Uh, a lot of people overcomplicate it and they think, oh, miniatures, I can't do that. And maybe they'll buy a kit and think, oh, the directions are too hard to follow. But it's actually quite simple. If you just find some time, a bit of tacky glue and some wood, you'll find you can make a lot of different things just by trying. I think we need to go look around some more. There's so much I haven't seen. Want to come do it with me? Yeah, I think that sounds great. Let's go. This time on A Moment of Science, penny pinching. A Moment of science. Here's a question of burning scientific importance. How high can you stack pennies before they fall over? The answer? It depends. In a perfect universe with perfectly flat pennies that align exactly on top of each other, the stack could go as high as you wish. In the real universe, however, you'll be lucky if you can get them above about a foot or so. Why do they always fall over? It's because of the center of gravity. The center of gravity is the point where all the individual weights average out. The entire stack acts as if the weight were located only at the center of gravity. Since the center of gravity is the average of all those penny weights, it will always be in the middle of the stack. That means the higher you make the stack, the higher the center of gravity goes. This is a problem because a low center of gravity is more stable than a high one. Think about this. Simplify the stack into a solid object. 
how much easier is it for a longer 2x4 board to tip over than a short one? In order to stay standing, the center of gravity has to be over the bottom of the stack. If it moves out far enough so that a vertical line going down from that point doesn't hit the bottom, the whole stack falls. Every penny you add gives more wobble, making it more likely the center of gravity will stray outside that above the bottom zone. When it does, crash! I'm Mandy Strife, and this has been a moment of science. Science! Welcome back, everyone. So, Stace, we are talking about Rube Goldberg machines. Can you explain yes, about are. what that is first? Yeah, well, a Rube Goldberg machine is named after a cartoonist named Rube Goldberg. Mm -hmm. And he was well known for doing these crazy drawings of the most complicated method of doing something really simple, like cracking an egg or waking up in the morning. Uh, mm -hmm. And he never actually made any of these machines, but now people have been so inspired by it that there's Rube Goldberg competitions Ooh. all over the world, Whoa. and we've been doing Whoa. an event, and uh, we did an event at Wonder Lab last fall. We'll cool. do one again this year, cool. where oh, people, so it is. yeah, so we have this great YouTube footage of wow, our event. That. that looks so neat. So people just made the machines? Yes. Yeah, I people in the community things. made the machines, and each one was very unique, and the, the simple task they had to achieve was pulling a string. Okay. And we attached them all together with a string, what? so the first one would pull oh, the string, nice. and that would trigger the next one. Wow. And so, so you can see, cute. yeah, as... Look at batteries. Look at all yep. this crazy stuff. I love how good an egg drop in my egg Yeah. So we had everything from uh, balloons to connects and uh, weights, balls. And you, and you guys are doing this again next fall. We are, and so we hope that people more people... Yeah, we hope oh, more people so can fun. participate and put together a really cool machine. It's something that's a great Ooh. project for families to work on over ah, the summer. Yeah. Yeah. You know, coming up with their idea, making it work, tinkering with it. It's a great way to, you know, hone in your engineering skills and your cool. creativity. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of fun. And when it all goes together at the end um, and everybody's machine You're works, fulfilled. it's that wonderful. It Everybody works. cheers. Oh, it's bet. great. Yeah. That's awesome. That looks like a lot of fun. What yeah. age? Do you, is we there should... a specific age or do you do it as a family? It's or? a family event. Cool. So, okay. yeah, we had uh, kids of all ages and parents, grandparents, uncles, things like that. And, and you know, even one of, a couple of our people in our exhibits department built them. Oh, cool. Uh, so, yeah, cool. so it's community Neat. groups. Um, all kinds of people we'll can do We'll have to it. make one of our own. Yeah, yeah you should. Thanks so much for coming yeah, in. This was a lot space. of fun. Yeah, this is great. And we'll be back right after this. Welcome to the Earth Eats Test Kitchen. My name is Heather, and we are going to make a fruit stacker parfait. Oh, a fruit stacker. That sounds like fun. It does sound like fun. There's a lot going on in this, but today we're going to use cantaloupe, raisin, and an apple. Cantaloupe? What is a cantaloupe? This is a cantaloupe. Okay. Now I've already cut it oh, and oh, I've scooped oh. out the seed. It's yeah. kind of bumpy on the outside. Yeah, that, it's like that, a big ball. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. really good. What, what, what happened to the middle of it? What well, happened in it? Well, it was full of these seeds uh -huh. and I just scooped them out. Oh, Easy. Okay. Okay. And you don't even really need a knife. This oh. is so ripe, you yeah. can use a spoon. You just use your hands? Yeah, you, well, I don't know. I think I'd use a spoon. Okay. Yeah, okay. just to be safe. Yeah. So for this, uh -huh. I'm going to cut up just a little bit of the cantaloupe. And this is so ripe, you could use a butter knife. Oh, so yeah. I'm just going to cut up little yeah. pieces just okay. for you. Yeah, yeah those, are, those are good size for me. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So I'm going to cut up a little bit of apple. Okay. And for this one that's just for you, I'm just going to use a big slice. And I'm going to cut it up small, just like the cantaloupe. OK. OK? And you could use a butter knife or ask an adult to help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone yeah. likes apples. You have to be careful, right? You do Heather? have to be yeah, careful. Yeah. I have to be careful. Yeah. So just enough for you. Okay. You don't need a whole one. So now we're gonna layer this. Okay. Oh, 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 like 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 a parfait. Exactly yeah. like a parfait. Yeah. Let's start with the apples. Okay. Some apple. Put the apples in. Okay. And then how about some raisins? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. 
I like the raisins. Well, they're a good combination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I am going to put in some vanilla yogurt. Oh. Now, if you would rather, you could use strawberry yogurt oh. or blueberry, whatever you have. Okay. I'm there's, just going to put a little bit in. There's different flavors of yogurt? Yeah. Ah. Or you could take the vanilla and just mash in your own strawberries, oh. whatever you want. And now, how about some crunchy granola? Okay. You yeah, like granola. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Put, put that in there. Yeah. That, that looks good. This is easy. Yeah. And then I'm going to do the whole thing again. Okay. So I'm going to put in some cantaloupe. Oh, you, you're you going to repeat what you did. I am. It's yeah. a pattern. Okay, yeah, a And pattern. then some apple. Yeah. And some raisins. Oh. Finish it off with some yogurt. Oh. And then you guessed it, granola. Granola, yeah. Quick oh, is, is it all easy. done? It is all done. Oh. And I bet you already have all this at home. Yeah, yeah. And, and this is very easy for them to make at home. Very right? easy. Yeah, yeah. Very healthy. Oh, yeah. You can make it in just a snack yeah. and finish it off with a nice <gasps> umbrella. Hedda has the umbrella again. I do. <sighs> oh, can I, can I try? You can. Okay. Let me get you some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. What do you think of that? Just right? Oh, Perfect. Hedda, great. So good. It is delicious. And it was super simple. <laughs> yeah, super simple. <laughs> hey everyone, here's that recipe again. You can write it down or, or go to our website and watch Earth Eat right on your computer. Yeah, eating smart is more than easy. It's super simple. In the Friday Zone. Friday. It's me, Bub. Not someone to bail on me. A fault out of pills. Well, it's joke time with Davy. Joke time with Jack. Joke time with Davy and Jack. Joke. I mean Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Dad, would you like to hear a construction joke? Ah, yeah, sure, son. Sorry, but I'm still working on it. <laughs> In the Friday zone, Friday. Well, guys, I hope you had fun today because we had a ton of fun with Stace. Remember to check out the website. Remember to live, <laughs> learn, and play the Friday zone way. We'll see you here next here we week. Launch. Oh, oh, oh mine didn't launch. Taylor, Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh. Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by